This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Jen Carter with me all the way from Brockville. You're the director of exhibits at the Brockville Aquatarium. Welcome to FYI. Thank you so much for having me, Kathy. I'm really excited to be here. Now, you have frequent our other FYI in Brockville with Doreen Barnes. Yes, we've chatted with Doreen a number of times, uh, not just myself, but a couple of others, and she's a lot of fun to hang out with. Yes, she is, for sure, for <laughs> yeah. sure. So we welcome you here to the Smith Falls uh, FYI. We're going to talk about mermaids. You have mermaids during the March break. I sure do, yeah. We have two mermaids here in our building uh, throughout the entire March break, so they arrived on Saturday, and they'll be leaving uh, at the end of the day this coming Saturday. Excellent, excellent. Now, how's it going there? I'm sure the children that are coming to see the mermaids are quite excited. Oh my God, it's been going fabulous. Uh, the kids love it, the parents love it. It's just such a nice, friendly vibe. The mermaids are so friendly and engaging and they love to be around all of these people. It's really been a, a real treat to have them here. Excellent, now a friend of mine is one of the mermaid security there, Tana yes. Cowan. Yes, she is. She is one of many of our mermaid security. So all of our staff members have been tasked with keeping our mermaids safe throughout the week, as well as our guests coming in the door. So can, can you talk a bit about, you know, when the children arrive, what it's like to see the mermaids and, and uh, do they do a meet and greet as well? Yeah, so we have a couple of things going on. The first mermaid that most of our guests are going to see is in our boathouse. So on our third floor of exhibits, we have a lovely mermaid sitting on the dock of our boathouse, ready to meet and chat and take pictures with all of our guests. So that's really the first encounter that they have with the mermaids. But we also have uh, different swim shows that are happening in our dive aquarium. And that happens four times a day. The mermaid goes and swims in the aquarium and everyone gets a chance to see her swim and blow kisses and uh, bubbles and all sorts of fun things like that. Oh my goodness, it's gotta be a dream come true for some children to see mermaids. Oh my God, to see their little faces and then jumping up and down and they come all geared up in their merwear and they have little tutus and sparkly stuff and it, it's been really fun to watch and see. Well, they are certainly, I'm sure, in the eyes of some children, they're princesses. Absolutely, they are. And they've really done a great job at um, keeping up that persona, for sure. Excellent, excellent. So what else is going on at the, aqua at the Aquatarium? Is this after March break or still during March break? <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's do after March break. How's that? So we have lots of things going on in the future. Obviously, we'll be getting ready for the summer season, which is our big season. And um, we're heavily involved in the Tall Ships Festival that is happening June 24th, 25th, 26th, which we are super excited about. We have summer camps running all summer long. Uh, those are already open for registration and are selling fast. So if there is anyone who is interested in booking those, I wouldn't wait too long. We are inviting schools to come out for their end of year trips and um, to, to come to the Aquatarium and learn. Those are already being booked as well. Uh, we have our mini train that will be happening this summer once again. We started it last year. It was a super huge hit, so we wanted to bring it back. So we will continue to do uh, train rides through our Brockville Tunnel. Uh, you know, when you said school trips, isn't that nice to be able to say we can have school trips again? <gasps> Oh my God, it feels so good to, to be able to do that and invite the schools back once again. Um, and some of them are booking, so I, I get the impression that they're feeling the same, that they're ready to start getting out of the schools. So it's really great. Excellent, excellent. Now there's an area of the aquatarium too that I've seen online and children can do some climbing. Uh, yes, we have our ropes course and absolutely. And it's a lot of fun. It is open for registration. Uh, they get to harness up and get out onto the ropes course and go through all of the elements. Uh, there are some tricky spots, but it is a lot of fun to be up there. Ah, that's you get your inner Spider-Man out of you. <laughs> exactly. And then you get to, you know, we have a 40-foot aqua drop. So they get, once again, they're clipped in and, and it's, a, it's quite a ride down to the first floor from the fourth. All right. Whereabouts is the aquatarium located in Brockville? We are located in the Hard Brockville, right downtown, 6 Broad Street, right on the waterfront. Uh, lots going on. We're right by um, Moose McGuire's is right here. There's tons of restaurants, lots of little shops on King Street. It's quite a place to be. It's, it's absolutely a, a day trip right there. Yeah, lots going on. The tunnel really is just steps away from our front door. Uh, same with a lot of different parks and the Brock Trails. There really is a lot going on here, and you can spend the day. 
And what are the hours of operation? We are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right now we are open from Wednesday to Sunday, uh, but once the summer season hits, we'll be open seven days a week. All right, all right. We're so looking forward to, you know, 2022 season, like it, the, the school trips, that, that in itself. I, yep. And that, that's amazing to be able to talk about and, and open up and everything. But to, just to have people come back and, and uh, visit places like the Aquatarium, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great summer. I can feel it. You can feel it. How long have you been with the Aquatarium? I've been with the Aquatarium for over eight years now. Oh, have you? Excellent, excellent. Yep. And how long has the Aquatarium been there in Brockville? So we've been open to the public since uh, March 2016. So it's been six years since we've been open to the public. Oh, okay. So you've been there since it started. Yeah, I was here during construction. So it was it was quite an interesting piece to be a part of. Oh, excellent, excellent. So you're all the history of it too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for joining us today. And oh my goodness, the opportunities you have given to children to be able to see mermaids. Uh, is this the first time you've had mermaids at the Aquatarium? very first time and i'm hoping that we're going to be able to do it again because it's been a lot of fun it has been for sure for sure for sure i thank you very much for joining us today thank you for do everything you do for children there i just uh, it's wonderful and, and for adults as well <laughs> absolutely we, we have stars of all kinds <laughs> we look forward to 2022 at the aquatarium in brockville thanks for joining us jen thanks for having me kathy have a great day you too